Andy Dalton. His role as Bryce Young's friend in that facility, I think is pretty darn important. Andy Dalton was on with uh, Jim Rome earlier this week, uh, and and he started talking about the Panthers, obviously. Started talking about Bryce Young, obviously, and we have a clip here for you on uh, part of what what uh, Andy was saying about Bryce and the Panthers. I thought he handled it well. Um, you know, he's never in his life had a season like that and had to handle the uh, adversity that he had to deal with. It was it was uh, a, a tough year, and then you throw in. Um, you know, losing your head coach after 11 games and uh, changes on offense and and all the all the things that went into it, um, it was tough. And so I think for him, I thought he handled it well. And I kept telling him, just like stay the course. You know, this thing is going to get better. It's uh, it's going to improve. And you know, I think what we have done uh, this off season, you know, bringing in some guys, you know, um, you know, bringing in a couple guards on the offensive line. Uh, you know, different things, trading for Deontay Johnson. I think it's, it's, it's getting built the right way where, uh, yeah, it's going to set him up to, to have a better year. I heard that, that clip from, from uh, Andy Dalton, and it got me thinking. He's the only one in Bryce Young's inner circle of, of kind of the offense that is a familiar voice from last year. He's the only one that was around last year. I think that role is important. I think it's it's nice to have someone that can remind you you're not crazy. That is how it was. Right? I, I, I always joke that uh, I think the most important people to somebody that becomes really famous are like your high school friends or your middle school friends. You need the people around to have the moments with where you're like, how crazy is this? Maybe the best uh, example of this in, in, in Hollywood, right, in cinema, is, is the <laughs> – ready for this? The, uh, the pilot. That's what I'm looking for. The pilot of Entourage. If you're unfamiliar with Entourage, it's a movie that was on HBO uh, you know, a couple decades ago maybe. And, and uh, they, have the, the, they have the movie star friend, and he brings his friends from back home out to Hollywood, and they're at a Jessica Alba party. Jessica Alba's throwing a party, and they're out back, and they're looking out over the L.A. skyline, the Hollywood skyline, and they have the moment of, look how far we've come. We are standing here in this moment, looking at this, at this party. Do you ever think this was possible? And then they immediately go, what are we doing staring at the lights? There's an awesome party behind us with a bunch of uh, cool people. Let's go to that. But the thing is, they had someone else there to have that conversation with. Bryce Young, at a certain point this season, hopefully, will be watching film. And he's going to watch whoever they draft with the 39th overall pick at wide receiver and Deontay Johnson both be open on the same play. And he's going to watch himself have time in the pocket to make the throw. And if they look at the scoreboard in the corner, it's going to say that they are ahead in the fourth quarter of a game, which did not happen at all last year. I know they won two games, but they were both on game-winning field goals as time expired. So they're going to be ahead in the fourth quarter. Multiple wide receivers are going to get open. He's going to have time to throw it, and he's going to want somebody there to look around and go, do you ever think we would be here? Do you ever think we'd make it? And he's going to need someone else there. Andy Dalton is the guy to go, I didn't, but we better enjoy it, right? Do you remember how crazy it was when our offensive coordinator and our head coach didn't get along <laughs> and they were both running to the, the owner trying to complain about the other and we didn't have any wide receivers that were getting open and our offensive line was getting blown up and, and we didn't win at all in the fourth <laughs> quarter of any games at all for an entire season and we didn't even own our first pick to get excited about? The coach got fired. Coach got fired. Everybody was talking about how the interim from the previous year was the the coach that we should have had, and we didn't even we didn't even play for that guy, but we were even kind of wondering what it would be like to play for him. Remember when? Like when 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 Bryce Young looks to Dave Canales. Dave Canales is drawing up a play, and and Bryce just goes, "Dave, you you don't understand what we were going through last year." Andy is his only cosign. Andy is the only one going. Nah, Bryce isn't exaggerating. We really did used to try to do that. We really did have to overcome that. We really did. Andy and Bryce are forever bonded by what they went through last year. It's the Junction Boys, right? You suffer together, you bond. That was like the, that's the entire 
Um, uh, <laughs> that's the entire plot of all of the movies where you go away to training camp and they make your life absolutely miserable, right? If you if you suffer together, the bonds that are 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 born in that suffering are unbreakable. Like the movie Miracle. Like the movie Miracle, like Junction Boys, like Remember the Titans, like any of the movies where they go on a training camp. Again. Again. Like that that all that matters is that you suffered and and you got through it. Well, guess what? Andy Dalton and Bryce Young suffered through last year and they got through it and and I think that matters. That voice in in the locker room matters. So Andy Dalton playing the role of Junction Boy, remember the Titans training camp, Julius Campbell, Gary Bertier slash friend from high school for Bryce Young playing that role as a guy who's now 10 years older than him and and you know won a whole bunch of games in the NFL is wildly important and I do think it's nice to have one voice that was around one familiar voice right you don't everything else shifted new head coach new coordinator everything else go ahead new quarterbacks coach fine new receivers love it I think it's nice to have one one voice there, and you could tell Andy kind of understood the the deal in that comment that he, we we just played. The drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine, the fan. It's like, hey, you don't have to go through that mess anymore. Remember, remember, like remember that mess is is such yeah. a fun game to play. Yeah. with people that were there with you. It's like, hey, Bryce, I know you're thinking this is like things are kind of hard right now. Remember when? Do you know what story <laughs> nobody yeah, right. ever tells? Like, like you get together at Thanksgiving with your family. Do you know what story no one ever tells? Remember that one time we were at the airport and our flight was on time and we boarded at a normal hour. We got on, we we took off, we landed uh, 15 minutes early, and then we got to where we were going. No one ever tells that story. But do you know what gets laughs every single time when the family gets together at Thanksgiving? Remember that time we had to spend the night in the Atlanta airport? Then we woke up the next day and our flight still wasn't ready. And and you you ate all the yeah yeah. We went to Orange Julius. You had the big smoothie and and you were allergic to the oranges. Like when everything just gets worse and worse and bad. Like to come out on the other side of that, those are the good stories. Andy Dalton and Bryce Young, like ten years from now, are going to laugh on a podcast about everything that took place last night, and that's going to help them this year, hopefully. 